I just got access to doing the training and uh, just here recently. So I've been just training, training, training with the agent mastermind. I'm on about halfway through agent mastermind 2.0. And I just want to tell you guys that this training is unbelievably great. Um, I have been in the insurance business for a very long time and I have trained many agents and I am beyond impressed with your training. Um, it also has shown me this is going to, we're getting ready to start our third month. And it has shown me that we did everything wrong. Everything wrong. In two months, we have literally gotten one case. And I have set some phenomenal appointments that if it had been in the right hand, hands, somebody would have definitely closed those sales if they were doing your process. So um, initially, I was not the lead agent. I've switched to lead agent specifically so I could do the training because what would happen is we'd get our second, you know, we'd do our first Zoom call. I've got a partner. And then I'd set up the second meeting and then they would always cancel, always cancel for the second meeting. So I'm like, we're doing something horribly wrong that this is happening. So I need to get on there and do this training. And now I see why. I see why we were failing. I mean, we were complete failures. I'm not going to lie to you. I just told this to Gemma on our check-in call. Um, well, not question. on getting what, not what was the realization? Of, What's the epiphany of why you were getting stuck? Well, for one thing. Why we they weren't were showing not, up specifically, I guess. Uh, because they were not, uh, we didn't, we were not engaging them. We were not getting them to see that they had a problem, really agitate that problem, get them to, you know, for me to walk side by side with them, you know, in acknowledging they have the pro problem and getting and it agitating it into them getting a desire to fix the problem. And then on that call, all we were doing was educating them on the IU, on the IULs and selling the product, not selling the solution. Yeah. Yeah. You've been through the training. That's great. Um, and, and it's awesome for you to have that, that reflection and awareness and, and, you know, I, I really appreciate the, the feedback and, um, and we had some context That's why we, we wanted to bring you on today because spoke with Gemma and the team and, and want to get you kickstarted with this, uh, you know, renewed and, and, and a different approach uh, with you kind of managing the whole process. So excited to have you on and, and appreciate the feedback and, and let's, let's, uh, let's win together. I mean, you said you've been in the industry for a while. You just haven't been selling this type of product. Uh, you, what, what were you doing? Yes, this else? is, you know, I've not, I'm, not used to internet leads. Um, actually, I created my own leads. They were mail leads. Mm. Um, this is a whole different animal selling, you know, internet, you know, get doing the internet leads. I mean, you know, these people don't know me. You know, I'm a complete stranger to them. And I'm also talking about a lot of money, their life savings, their retirement plans, you know, their 401ks. This is a lot more money. My focus was mortgage protection. Yeah. So, you know, and I was highly successful at that. I always had top 10 in the nation for Transamerica as far as my agents went. But this is very different. There's similarities in building yeah. rapport and, you know, there's similarities. But this is way bigger than the mortgage protection. And I had no idea. And even I with have the a philosophy, script, you know, I was. I have a philosophy. I wonder, you know, with your experience, I, I think that, that most people who come with your background, certainly um, not the, uh, the, this is the, what sounds like, uh, you know, success rate and, and, and results that you've experienced in your career and, and been able to deliver, but, but, you know, from a product focus where you're fully just selling insurance is what I would call it. And my, my, my philosophy or hypothesis rather is that, you know, when you make this shift, uh, a lot of people, they try to treat it, although we're technically still selling insurance, they try to 
sell it from the same lens of insurance. And that's the whole paradigm that needs to be flipped on its head. And we realize that we're selling a solution to a problem and we're going to use insurance as that solution. And so the language, the conversation and, and the approach has to be completely different, let alone all the other uh, dynamics that are new for you, like, you know, mm. being systematic in the way you develop trust um, because these leads were cold. Right. And so, but you know, spe specific to the hypothesis is, is that kind of ring true for you as far as like, you, you kind of have, you can't think of it as insurance, even though we're using insurance, you have to think of it as a, you know, a conversation around an investment strategy that leverages insurance, but it's not a conversation about insurance and the protection, although that's a secondary benefit. Would you agree with that and what you've seen so far? Um, I would definitely agree with that. Of course, one of the reasons I was success, successful before is because I always wanted to do the right thing by the client. You know, I always told everybody, um, you know, this, uh, we are problem solvers because it wasn't just going in and saying, here's your rate, let's sign up. You know, sometimes things came up that you had to problem solve. So, you know, and if you were going to be really great at this, you had to be a problem solver. But I got to say, this may be off, you know, this thing with, people going insurance. I don't want, I don't need insurance. I don't want insurance. And this is one of my favorite things that I wrote down and I've used it more than once now is, you know, I say, it's not about selling what you guys said. This is not about selling you more life insurance. It's about selling you enough life insurance so you can get the benefits of the IRS tax code 7702. I love that it said that this is um, the millionaire's Roth. I mean, that sums it up right there. We're working on a case right now, um, probably going to be appointment four. And this guy wants to put somewhere between 100 and 150,000. And he just rescheduled. I want to keep it fresh in his mind. So this is what I sent him. These exact words when, I, when he texted me to reschedule him. And I said, this is why this is called the millionaire's Roth. This is why wealthy people, this is what wealthy people use it for tax-free advantage, no market risk, no limits to funding. And those are his hot buttons. He can't yeah. put enough money in that Roth. Yep. And I love, I love this. I mean, you guys are phenomenal. That's all I, I got. I appreciate to say. it. <laughs> Thank you so much.